Hey all, welcome to ShareTrack. This is Raj here, friend. Today's topic is again HIV, and this time I'm going. I'm bringing you some news from Australia, uh, Doherty Institute, Australia, and uh, the the topic is uh, basically a shock and kill treatment approach uh, that is being tried out by researchers in Doherty Institute, and um, the lead researcher out there is uh, a lady by the name uh, Yori Kim, and I'm going to profile her work today. And I will also explain to you how she's drawing upon uh, existing cancer drugs and existing cancer treatment strategy in order for uh, conquering and killing HIV. So with that said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. As I mentioned, today I'm going to profile an initiative underway at the Doherty Institute in Australia for HIV. Many of you must have heard the term shock and kill, this, that is the approach being studied out here. And they are drawing from the field of cancer to reuse existing techniques and cancer medicines to deploy on HIV. I am cataloging the work of Yuri Kim in the lab of Dr. Sharon Levin in Melbourne, Australia. So, Doherty Institute uh, is uh, a collaboration. Uh, between two institutions. Let me show you this uh, particular press release. I am going to put uh, the link uh, in our uh, in the description below so that you can click and uh, read the article for yourself. But uh, first, let me show you the article out here. Uh, if you see this article, this is coming from Dorothy Institute and it's a collaboration within the University of Melbourne and the Royal Melbourne Hospital. And uh, this lady here is uh, Yori Kim. Uh, she's the researcher who is uh, hopeful of uh, converting cancer treatments into HIV treatments and uh, help rid of latent HIV. She's targeting latent HIV. And um, I'm going to explain this thing to you um, in uh, detail. The first thing that you need to understand in order to comprehend uh, what is happening with this uh, therapy uh, is to understand what uh, chromatin is. Chromatin is a complex of DNA, RNA and protein found in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. And it plays a crucial role in the regulation of gene expressions. The primary components of chromatin are DNA and histone proteins, which together form nucleosomes. The DNA in chromatin is organized into um, kind of structures which are called chromosomes. In humans, we have got 23 chromosomes. And uh, during cell division, uh, the chromosomes are formed and the dynamic regulation of chromatin structure is fundamental for various uh, cellular processes including transcription, replication, repair and apoptosis. Apoptosis is the process of self-destruction. So cells can self-destruct themselves if they find that they are infected. So mutations in cancerous cells for example are thought to alter the structure of chromatin material that forms chromosomes and in cancer cells, it makes it easier for them to proliferate. Cancer is often associated with genetic mutations and some of those mutations can affect the structure of chromatin and changes in the chromatin structure can influence the regulation of genes involved in cell cycle control, apoptosis and DNA repair. Altered chromatin structure in cancer uh, can uh, lead to uh, dysregulated gene expression, allowing the cells to bypass normal regulatory mechanisms and proliferate uncontrollably. Let me explain. When a cell finds that it is infected by either a virus or by, uh, by for example, cancer, uh, that is, it has got mechanisms within it to detect that it is infected. And if it is infected, the cells generate certain proteins which uh, trigger a process called as apoptosis, uh, which is the cellular suicide, the cell kills itself. So all those things are already programmed into the human DNA. But if the, uh, if the human DNA is tightly packed, uh, then all the genes are not exposed to the cellular environment and therefore ready transcription is not possible. The ability of HIV to integrate into uh, host cell DNA is what the researchers think is also influenced by how chromatin is organized. Cancer drugs can modify the structure of chromatin, making it less tightly packed. Chromatin, when less condensed, becomes more accessible to cellular machinery. By making chromatin more accessible, these drugs facilitate the initiation of transcription. Transcription is the process by which information from DNA is used to synthesize RNA. And as you would have guessed, uh, if uh, transcription is being promoted, then 
there is the uh, HIV proviral DNA sitting latent out there. It's then going to start uh, transcribing itself and making copies. That's exactly what uh, Yori Kim wants to do. So, um, despite the fact that it's uh, initiating transcription, that's exactly what they want to do for uh, HIV. So, in a sense, the drugs are making chromatin more accessible uh, to control gene expression and to turn uh, and in turn to regulate cell replication in cancer cells. When the HIV uh, infects a host cell, its genetic material is integrated into the host cell's DNA. The integration process is influenced by the accessibility of chromatin. If chromatin is tightly packed, it may hinder the integration of viral DNA. Understanding the organization of chromatin in host cells is crucial for comprehending the mechanisms involved in HIV integration and developing potential therapeutic interventions. In the field of cancers, there are many drug, uh, drugs that uh, work by loosening chromatin to make it more accessible to cellular machinery to initiate transcription, thereby tamping down the cell's ability to replicate. And cancer drugs often target the chromatin structure to regulate gene expression and inhibit the uncontrolled growth of cancer cells. By loosening chromatin, these drugs make the DNA more accessible to the cellular machinery responsible for transcription. The process of converting DNA to RNA is the transcription process as we all very well know and this in turn can suppress the ability of cancer cells to replicate and divide. Researchers theorize that these same cancer drugs might also force cells infected with uh, latent HIV to initiate transcription of viral DNA making them visible to the human system. And uh, building on the idea of chromatin modifying drugs in cancer, researchers hypothesize that these drugs could be repurposed to target latent HIV infections. Latently infected cells hide from the immune system by keeping viral DNA silent. By using chromatin modifying drugs, researchers hope to induce transcription of the latent HIV, making the infected cells visible to the immune system. This could potentially aid in the elimination of the latent reservoir of HIV infected cells, a critical step in developing strategies for curing HIV infections. So Kim is using a novel approach to curing HIV called shock and kill strategy, where the goal is to activate latent HIV, making it replicate and subsequently eliminate the infected cells. Dr. Kim is specifically working on a, com a combination of drugs that triggers latent HIV to replicate, which is basically a latency reversing agent and a pro apoptotic uh, drug uh, which um, uh, enables the cell, which pushes the cell to go into uh, self-destruction mode or uh, suicide or apoptosis. And this combination aims to first shock the latent HIV out of hiding and then kill the infected cells. The strategy involves activating latent HIV, which is essentially hiding in cells and not actively replicating. The activation is followed by the use of a pro-apoptotic drug to induce apoptosis or programmed cell death in the infected cells. To test this approach, Dr. Kim treats blood samples from people living with HIV with the drug combination. Uh, the treated samples are then compared to untreated samples from the same individuals to see whether the combination is working. One challenge is determining whether the drugs are eliminating intact virus because not all HIV uh, latent HIV repl is replication com uh, competent, meaning it can't re actively replicate and infect other cells because the virus's rapid mutation rate and uh, 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 creates a situation where a significant portion of HIV DNA is defective and incapable of replication. Basically, she has got a digital PCR machine and a genomic sequencing machine uh, based uh, with using which she can find out how many of the latent uh, uh, CD4 T cells contain an intact HIV provirus which is capable of replicating. Once she knows the numbers, then she can see what happens after uh, her cocktail of medicine is given to, and to compare it with the uh, untreated blood sample from the same uh, patient to see whether there is any difference out there. So some research are exp uh, also exploring uh, shock and uh, kill uh, uh, drugs with more precision using na nanoparticles that specifically target infected cells. So that's another approach. There are also other strategies called block and lock approach that aim to permanently silence latent virus by blocking the transcription step in the cell's life cycle. And gene therapy approaches are also being studied to knock out genes that enable the virus to infect cells. Friends, that is where I have my biggest hope. I think that the ultimate cure is likely to be either base edited or prime edited uh, therapy, which would target the GAG protein of the HIV virus. 
because the GAG protein is the most important component of the HIV virus and it has got the entire blueprint to create components of the HIV virus and put it together and launch it out of the CD4 T cell. So if the GAG protein itself is damaged by selectively modifying its nucleotides, then I think that uh, it will be a victory. And using base editing and prime editing, this can be done uh, without uh, doing double stranded cuts. Uh, there can be a uh, knockout of various uh, nucleotides uh, in the uh, GAG protein. Uh, the scientists can study the GAG protein and try to identify which are the crucial nucleotides that have to be modified so that the GAG protein becomes useless. And once the GAG protein becomes useless, HIV is toast, it's gone. So that's what is likely to happen. And um, uh, there, are, there are other thoughts also I have in mind. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video about that of how a bunch of uh, existing therapies which are going through clinical trial can be combined together to give a sterilizing cure. I'll make a separate video about that um, maybe next week. So watch out for that. And friends, thanks for watching till the end. And I have a special message for all our Patreons. Thank you very much. You are, uh, your contribution is helping me uh, continue with this HIV uh, uh, therapy videos. So it's much appreciated. And I'm also selling, uh, telling all the, uh, the members of our YouTube channel that thanks to you, uh, I'm able to do all these HIV videos, which takes a lot of time and efforts. Uh, your contribution is very much appreciated. And to all the others who have not yet subscribed or not yet uh, joined our channel or have not yet become Patreons, I'm requesting you, please become a Patreon. Link is in the description. Become a Patreon. More money comes to the channel from the Patreon and the membership fee in Patreon is much less than what we have in YouTube. Because in YouTube, more than half is taken away by YouTube and very less comes to the channel. So please become a Patreon, help us carry this forward. And the good news I want to share with you friends is uh, my call for volunteers has already been answered. There is already a really good volunteer from the field of medicine who has volunteered uh, to help translate to French. So soon we are going to have free HIV booklet uh, translated to French. I'm looking for more volunteers in French and Spanish so if you're one of those people who is bilingual, very good in English and in French or in Spanish or in Italian or in Arabic, whatever language, please volunteer. Get in touch with me. Go to our website, sharetrek.com. Use the contact form. Send me an email. I'll get in touch with you and help you become a volunteer. Together, you guys can help me do even more and uh, take Sharetrek to new levels. If you haven't watched my vision for 2024 for our channel, please check out the video. I'm going to put it in the end screen as one of the videos to watch. So please check it out and volunteer, become a Patreon, help the channel. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.